Good afternoon, it's Julie Ellender. This is my first part of my journal flip. This is the cover of my journal, which was done with hot glue, spray ink, and paint. Um, this is the first entry that I made. It was about a terrible, terrible storm that my son and I endured together. Um, pretty crude drawing, but I was working with it. Uh, this is a funny quote that I came up with myself and I decided to put it in my journal. Um, the sides are in acrylic and the rest is spray ink. Uh, this was close to Mother's Day. I did most of it with hot glue and the key is a stencil I used with gesso. And spray ink doesn't really adhere to hot glue. Um, this was done in watercolor and masking fluid. Um, and... Um, it was watercolor, like I said. Uh, this one also watercolor, and the bubbles are with molding paste, um, stenciled in, and there's a little quote there. Um, this one, uh, uh, I was having a tough day, so I made this little zombie girl with her mouth sewn shut because I just felt like I needed some quiet. Um, this is getting back to what I used to do. This is one of my first Jane Davenport inspired girls. Um, she was done with watercolor and Prismacolor pencils. Oh, a lot of people ask me about this one. The background is aluminum foil. I painted over that with acrylic, sprayed some ink. The girl is a cutout that I did from another journal. Uh, the background on this one is leftover gift wrap tissue paper that I had, and I painted over that with watercolor and Sharpie marker. Uh, this was in retaliation to an article about uh, shaming an obese girl, and it just made me really mad, so I decided to make this one for myself and my husband. This one was watercolor Sharpie marker and used also an ink pad. I really love this one. Unfortunately, it tore. I'm going to have to fix it. Uh, this is the back side of that page. The ink leaked through, and the watercolor did, and... Um, I just decided to go with the flow with the Sharpie marker and paint markers. I was super excited it was Friday, if you can't tell. Um, these are my homemade stem stencils that I made, and I used mainly watercolor and acrylic. This one is done all in acrylic and Prismacolor pencils. Um, the pen up girl walking is the Prismacolor. Oh, this one's so pretty. I did this one with molding paste, and this is for St. Catherine, the patron saint of uh, artists. I just felt like she was watching over me. This is my rendition of Mother Nature. <laughs> this was spray ink, uh, watercolor, and Sharpie marker, and a paint marker as well. Um, this was all watercolor and masking fluid. I was feeling very into Alice in Wonderland that day. It's one of my favorite stories ever. This one was really tough. Actually, it took me a while. The background is done with homemade stencils, watercolor, and the girl was done with Prismacolor pencils. This one took me so long. And this is my little fairy tale fairy. The O was done with um, hot glue gun, painted over that, and the rest is watercolor on a tear out of a novel page. Another tear out of a, a book that I have, and the quote on the heart is actually from Grimm's fairy tale, Little Mermaid. I love that quote. My Marie Antoinette, I had just got done watching the movie and just felt like she needed to be in my book. So, because she's fabulous, or was. Um, this is for all the folks that have lost a fur baby. I was missing one of my kitty cats that day, and... I just felt like this was a tribute to him. This was kind of getting back to what I used to do. This is one of my kind of old school pinups that I did. And I put her in a fabulous red dress and uh, have a little quote to go with that. I was feeling messy and uh, I kind of got messy in my journal and just kind of started experimenting with some of my mediums that I have. It was just a fun page. Ugh, this one took me a while. Um, the hair or the hat actually is cardstock cut out, and this was a Jane Davenport inspired uh, figure that I drew, and I made up the quote myself, if you could have read that. Um, this is for all magicians. I made the stencil myself and the hat and the bunny rabbit ears I was a cutout that I did, all in watercolor. 
Um, this was the first time I used crackle paint. Didn't work as well as I wanted it to on the butterflies. You can't really see it here, but um, I tried, you know. Ugh, Candyland. Okay, as a kid, I really wanted to eat all the cards in Candyland because they all look delicious. So this was kind of my tribute to that wonderful childhood game. Okay, second attempt at crackle paint actually worked. Um, the heart is aluminum foil, Mod Podged on, and I painted over it. And the rest was done with spray ink, ink pad, and acrylic. Ah, the light bulb. Yes, the light bulb was supposed to be something else turned into a light bulb. <laughs> Bright ideas. And it was done with watercolor and spray ink and pit pen. Um, this one, I found the quote in a fortune cookie and just kind of went with the flow. Um, used crackle paint on the heart. You can't really tell, but whatever. This was done in chalk. Um, I was remembering about when my grandparents used to take me camping. I absolutely loved walking through the woods and was convinced there were fairies. Um, this one was super colorful. This was a rainbow challenge and um, I used spray ink all over it and the top is actually gesso that looks like falling icing. This is all chalk. This is a doodle that I did. Um, I just kind of went with the flow and this was the result. Let's add it on this one. This was one for me and my husband. Um, this, the quote is actually something that I really said to him after he proposed to me. And um, this was done with acrylic and a little bit of aluminum foil. This is yet another Jane Davenport inspired girl. This was done with chalk. I had a little trouble with the eyes. They're a bit crooked, but you know, it's all wonderful, whatever. Um, black is such a happy color. Morticia Adams said that, the character and love her and love black because it's slimming. Who doesn't want to be slimming or slim? And this was done in all watercolor. Um, the story behind her, she's actually a sea goddess that has been cursed. Um, her sailor lover drowned at sea and she threw herself into grief and accidentally cursed herself living at the bottom of the sea forever. Um, this one, the stickers I got from Dollar Tree, and I just had to use them because they were kind of 3D stickers that kind of pop off the page there, if you can't tell. Um, these were wall decals. They were metallic and kind of hard to keep on the page. I had to Mod Podge them a lot, and hence the glaze, and the rest was done with watercolor. Um, this is actually the first of a two-page spread. These are wall decals also. This was for my son, and I gessoed and used spray ink on there. And there's little words on there for him. Little birds. Um, this quote is actually something that I said when I was really little, and my parents never forgot it and always thought it was really funny. So I thought, why not use it in my journal? I mean, why not? Um, yes, this was done all in chalk, and it was supposed to say breathe art, but somebody noticed that it says breath art, so I added an is in there so I didn't look like a moron. Uh, this one was a little ominous. I used crackle paint for the eye, dropped one drop of red ink, and it just spread and looked really, ugh, I don't know. Um, I was listening to the theme song to the old NBC show, Lipstick Jungle, and I just kind of went with it. This was done in all chalk and paint marker. Uh, this was all chalk as well, and it's really funny because the background, before I put chalk on there, was ink, and the more I sprayed fixative, the more the ink came through, and it looked really cool. This is my rendition of the Mad Hatter. I think she would be a female, and if she were a female, I really think she would have to keep convincing people that she's not mad. Yeah. Another Jane Davenport-inspired girl um, that I did. I just loved the way that her skin tone came out, especially when I sprayed fixative. She just had this um, look about her. This was an old school microphone that I drew out of chalk. I love, I love vintage microphones. I think they're so pretty. And if I could put one in my house, I totally would. 
Um, this is actually me, self-portrait. I used to have a closet under the stairs as a kid that I would retreat to, and um, that's kind of, you know, about that closet. Um, this one, ooh, this one was done with cardstock that I found. I cut my caterpillar out with cardstock and sat him on the cardstock mushrooms that I, that I cut out, and the rest was done in watercolor and ink. Um, this is to go along with the Alice in Wonderland theme. This is my Queen of Hearts, Jane Davenport Eyes. There you go. And, um, she's a little backwards. Uh, this one is kind of close to home. Um, the petals that are on there are actually sprayed paper that I ripped up to look like petals. And then I gl glazed over it. Um, my spray bottle was acting a little funny and I just kind of started doodling with it and out came a cat and a bird. This is actually a really old painting that I did. It's probably about seven or eight years old and I decided that she needed to come out of the book and into my journal. Uh, this was done in all chalk. This was inspired by a drawing that I found in a fashion illustration book, which I forgot I had and am totally in love with it again. Uh, this was done in all chalk as well. I really love sunsets and um, I did it also, the squigglies, the filigree with pit pen. Um, this is actually true. Every time I go into a church and if I'm listening to the sermon and I look at stained glass with the light coming through it, I'm just really moved. I always thought that was so beautiful. This one was just for fun. Um, my love of wine. I love wine. That's, there's really not much else to it. Ink and pit pen. This one gave me trouble, a lot of trouble. The background is ink with a homemade stencil that I made, and then I tried to go over it with a white Sharpie um, paint pen and had so much trouble. This was done, ooh, this was done with chalk, and this was my very first cupcake, and I think it came out really cute. I might actually decorate my kitchen with cupcakes now, just because of this. This was my first Zen Tangle that I did. It took me all day. Like, I don't have anything better to do, but, you know, I just thought it, I wanted a Zentangle hand. Um, this is the last drawing in this video. This was done with chalk and paint marker. This was another Jane Davenport-inspired girl with frosting on her. Love that one. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you pretty babies very soon. Bye!